assalamu alaikum i am dr saeed ali mardan azmi welcome to my channel in this lecture we will learn how we can solve triple iterating diagrams for this purpose we will learn exercise 15.5 question number 10 from thomas calculus 12th edition book in triple integrals we have to know some terminologies before we can start solving it in triple integrals we have three variables involved here you can see i have chosen three colors red color blue color and then green color the variable in the most inner side is called inner variable so in this case in question number 10 g is our inner variable after g the variable indicated with blue color is our central variable and after this this variable x which is most outer variable is called outer variable the limits of z are 0 to 3 minus 3x minus y the limits of y are 0 to 3 minus 3x and the limits of x are 0 to 1 we will always start integration from most inner variable and we will move towards outer variable it means in order to solve this integral first of all we will start integrating this particular question with respect to z and then on the outcomes of integration with respect to z we will apply integration with respect to y and after integrating with respect to y we will apply rule of integration with respect to x and second most important thing the limits of inner and central variable may be constant may be variable just like you can see the limits of z and y the limits of z and y in the lower limit is constant number but in the upper limit the limits of y and z are in variable terms but the limits of outer variable is always constant because we are calculating a definite integral so after knowing these terminologies we can solve our integrals first of all we will start integration with respect to z integration of dz is simply z for the limit 0 to 3 minus 3x minus y in the next step we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus upper limit minus lower limit making the simplification we have 3 minus 3x minus y so up till here we have completed integration with respect to our most inner variable that is c after this we will start integrating this function 3 minus 3x minus y which is the outcome of integration of inner variable with respect to y so for integrating this term first of all we must revise a simple question or simple example from calculus 1 or single variable calculus if we have to integrate 3x plus 5 dx how we can integrate it in the first term 3x 3 remain as it is and we will apply rule of integration on x square over 2 on x square so we have x square over 2 plus in the second term the integration of 5 is 5x plus c is the constant of integration in this integral 3x plus 5 we have two kinds of constant first constant is 3 and other constant is 5 the first constant 3 is being multiplied with the variable and second constant 5 is independent of the variable and the treatment of both variable is different if constant term is being multiplied with the variable it remain as it is but if the constant term is being added or subtracted in a variable term we will associate the variable with respect to which we are performing the integration so now coming back to our question in this question limit from 0 to 1 limit from 0 to 3 minus 3x we have to integrate 3 minus 3x minus y with respect to y so with respect to y x remains constant so 3 minus 3x is a constant term and y is our required variable so we will deal 3 minus 3x just like 5 so in the next step we will perform the integration integration of 3 minus 3x is 3 minus 3x into 5 minus the integration of y is y square over 2 by power formula for the limit 0 to 3 minus 3x in the next step after integrating we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus upper limit minus lower limit so for upper limit we will replace y with 3 minus 3x in each term and for lower limit we will replace y with 0 in each term in the second bracket all the terms become 0 and from the first bracket 
we have after simplification 3 minus 3x whole square minus 3 minus 3x whole square over 2. So after this, 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2. We can take 1 by 2 constant outside. So we are left with integration of limit from 0 to 1, 3 minus 3x whole square. Now, in order to solve this integral, we must know this formula. And this formula is f of x raised to power n into f prime of x. f prime is the derivative of f of x dx. This is equal to f of x raised to power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, where c is the constant of integration. Well, now, what is this formula? If the term inside the power has its derivative as a multiplier in the integrand, then the integration of this whole term is just like this, f of x raised to power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So in order to apply this concept here, what is the missing thing? We need the derivative of the term inside the power. So the integration, so the derivative of 3 minus 3x is minus 3. In order to produce a derivative, we will multiply with minus 3. And in order to balance it, we will divide with minus 3 outside of the integral. Now we can apply this formula over here. So the integration of this term is 3 minus 3x whole square for the limit 0 to 1. In the next step, we will perform the simplification by applying limits, upper limit minus lower limit by doing fundamental theorem of calculus. Making the simplification, our answer is 3 by 2. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and share this content with your friends. Allah Hafiz.